Yeah, it was entertaining for a neutral. Uh, not for me. I thought the first half we um, we, were, we were fantastic on the front foot. Um, changed a little bit of a style of play the way we've been doing the last couple of months. And I thought it showed. We had energy um, by not having a game the last seven days and stamped our authority on the game. Um, took the lead deservedly. And in second half, they come at us at, with, with something different. And um, they could probably say what I've just said about the, uh, the first half. Is it disappointing though to feel that the, you know, I think chances overall, I think Harry has created the clearer chances, perhaps not going in with a greater greater buffer at half time? Yeah, I think so. I think Ashley Emmings, you, you'd put your mortgage on him finishing one of the three that he had one on one um, against defenders coming on his favoured side. But you know, he's, he's been great for us this season. I'm not going to knock him and he'll still get in them positions and he'll score more times than not. Um, I was happy being 1 0 up at half time, but I'll I wasn't happy with the second half performance, uh, not by one bit really. Um, I think we've got to finish teams off or, or grind the game down a little bit better. But um, we give them something to latch on to, whether it's a penalty or not, it's one of them. But um, yeah, just disappointed with our own performance really, second half. Yeah, what was the penalty given for? We, we weren't quite certain on the, in, the, in the stand where we were. It was harsh, I mean, I even think the ref was hesitant really in giving it. Um, I think John Lewis has just got in front of Lewis Montrose and He's hit his face and he's gone down. Some, sometimes you get him, sometimes you don't. But disappointing because he's not going to score from that opportunity 18 yards out. Um, and really, they haven't had a shot on goal second half as much as they've had probably the, the majority of the, of the lion's share of the game. You look ahead to Tuesday, you've got York coming to, to Agra now. It'd be important to, to build on this point and, and, and get the uh, three against York. Yeah, I think so, Steve. You've got to take each game as it comes. We're disappointed now, but it's, a point, it's another point on the board. Um, we haven't played a lot of league games in the last five weeks and you know we've got loads of league games coming up and loads of points to play for. So it's uh, it's another game against another good side who are probably favourites to go up, but we look forward to hosting on Tuesday. And your overall assessment, you know, you go to the new year where with Harriers in the position that they are, you'd be pleased with the you know, if you like the first stage of the season? Yeah, I'm pleased, but I always want more. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm greedy and I'm selfish and I, I just want to get the maximum points every every game. And if we don't, I want to know why. Um, we know why we haven't done it today, but we'll, uh, we'll dust ourselves off when we go again tomorrow. That's great. Congratulations. I guess the, the other, one other point, is like just as a positive, just as they had done in the opening couple of months of the season, winning was a good habit, wasn't it? And I guess just needing to get back into that habit now in terms of winning games back to back. Yeah, I think so. Well, credit to uh, to the players. You know, We could have folded the last 15 minutes when it wasn't going our way. Um, points are big this year because you look at the league table, they're all picking points up against someone else. You don't want someone else, the opposition, taking the maximum off you. And that's what we've got to limit sides to. Um, should we have took the games from more? Of course we should have. Um, and why? That's what we'll look on and reflect on. Um, but, you know, draw was probably a fair result, even though I'm disappointed. And you got a little look at Jason Cowley in, in, in the second half. What were your thoughts? He's lively and he's everything we want. And he'll get his chance this season. Um, one thing I will say, how, how good Ethan Freeman was holding the line. And he, he ran and ragged for half an hour. Blew up with 30 minutes to go, but that's only natural. Hasn't played in a long time. William and Jason have got to hold the line now and uh, look forward to having them both in the, in the next month or so.